Hi, what's up everyone? My name is Andy Park. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'll show you how to customize your notification settings in Teams. It's hard to find time to do actual work these days. And if you're like me, most of the working days are spent in meetings or for planning for work. But when it comes to doing actual work, I want to make sure that I'm focused and productive. I find that it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes of uninterrupted time to get in the zone. So for this reason, I try to minimize any potential distractions before starting my focus work. That includes silencing my phone, closing down all unnecessary windows on my computer, and clearing my desk so that random paperwork or items don't pull my focus away. I also customize notification in Teams to reduce distractions, and I'll show you how to do this now. To manage your notifications, select your profile picture in the top right of Teams, then select the gear icon for settings. Then select notifications. The first option is for email. When you miss an activity in Teams, you can choose to be notified via email. The missed activity can include a chat message or a channel announcement that you haven't read. Here's an example. So you can choose how frequently you want to be notified of these missed activities or turn it off completely. Under the Appearance and Sounds section, the default option is to show the message preview for notifications. This is what that looks like. If you turn off the message preview, the notification looks like this. You can also choose to turn on or off the notification sound. Here, you can choose to get notification for all activities that occur in teams and channels that you belong to, or get notification only when someone at mentions you or replies to your message. You can also customize notification based on specific events that occur. Here, you can select Edit next to each category below to customize how you like to receive your notification for that category. For chat, you can choose between banner, feed, or both for at mentions, replies, and reactions. And to quickly clarify, banner notifications are desktop notifications. Activity feeds are notifications that show in the activity module. You can choose to be notified when a meeting on your calendar starts. Also, you can choose to mute or unmute any chats that occur in that meeting. Or, you can choose to mute only until you join or send a message in that meeting. Here, you can choose to follow specific people to be notified when they appear to be available or offline. This is especially useful when we're working remotely from home. Let's say you need to connect with someone to ask a quick question. If you're in an office, it's easy to see if someone is in a meeting or on a call. So you wait until they're available and swing by their desk. Since we can't do this when we're working remotely, this feature to be notified of someone's availability is really helpful. For this last category of other, you can customize notification for recommendations and tips from Teams. Now all of the settings that we reviewed so far are global settings, meaning they apply to all channels, chats, etc. But you can customize notifications to specific channels if you choose. Here, I'll choose a channel and click on the three dots and choose channel notifications. You can select notification for all activities that occur in this channel, turn off notifications except when someone at mentions you or replies to your message, or you can customize for more control. You can choose to mute specific chats and conversations by selecting the three dots for that chat and choosing mute. I use this feature often. Sometimes I don't join a meeting that I'm invited to, but still get notification for chats that take place in that meeting. And this can be super distracting, especially if I'm in another meeting and the banners keep popping up as people actively engage in that chat. Okay, that's it for today. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in other videos on productivity, check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.